Have you ever gone into your kitchen and opened up your cabinets and opened up your fridge to find you haven't been grocery shopping since about 1870? Well, if that sounds like you, then I have the perfect sandwich solution. Because there are two things that almost every household has at all times. The first thing, which is our key ingredient to the sandwich, is none other but our good friend Heinz tomato ketchup. Did you know that the ketchup company has been selling this product for more than 125 years? Legend has it that Henry John Heinz invented ketchup by adapting a Chinese res recipe for this thick sauce made of tomatoes and special seasoning and starch. And it was called catsup. Okay, so then, you know, Henry was like, this shit is really good, and I think that I should make it America's number one condiment. And he did exactly that. So this is our first ingredient for this sandwich. And our second ingredient, you won't believe it, it's some bread. And it doesn't matter if it's the butts of the breads or the good side that's in the middle of the bread. Give me any piece of bread. You can toast your bread if you really want to and you can slather some ketchup on there and you got the perfect ketchup sandwich but what's that I hear you don't have bread <laughs> that's okay we have solutions keep searching through those cabinets you got hot dog buns you got a ketchup sandwich who needs a hot dog you got chips ketchup sandwich stick them in the middle you can even put your chips inside the bread if you got all three. I mean, you're really splurging here. But if you got all three, put them all together, you got a little crispy sandwich there. It's so good, I'm telling you. Oreos. These, you don't want to put ketchup on because, let's face it, they're good the way they are. And um, for those people who are saying, well, you know what? Not everyone has ketchup in their fridge. Well, okay, maybe I'm just super lucky and I have this big-ass bottle of ketchup. But I know that when you go to those fast food restaurants and you are going in to grab that ketchup, those ketchup packets, those mustard packets, I know that you're like, I don't need this much. I know I don't need this much, but I'm going to take them because they're free. And there's not much in this world that is free anymore. So you've got to have those little packets of ketchup. I know you have them. Alright, so now I'm going to demonstrate for you how to make a ketchup sandwich. It's very easy. <laughs> I know you can't believe that. I'm hoping there's no mold on this bread. There's not. Perfect. It's a good day. Alright, so you got your pieces of bread. And what other sandwich can you make in bed? No other sandwich. Get your ketchup, open it up very easily. It's kind of squeezing out. It looks so good. You're going to slather it on there. You can even make designs, really, if you're feeling ambitious. I just kind of made a smiley face with a black eye. It's like paint on a canvas. I'm going to smother that stuff on there. It's a little messy. But it's doable. Stick that on top. I'm gonna open up my chips and I'm gonna put some chips on this sandwich. Because it's a free world. Listen to this crunch. Oh, you wanna eat that, right? It's freaking good. And it's so easy. And I found this sandwich makes you love ketchup so much more than you ever had in your whole life. You will start putting ketchup on anything. Mashed potatoes, eggs, grilled cheese sandwiches, a little cheese with that, so good. Mac and cheese if you're feeling really wild. It's all good. Poof! <laughs> Where did this come from? My ketchup is so sweet. I wanna tell everyone I meet 
that no other condiment could match up. So when are you gonna catch up? Have a good day.